Hello guys! Welcome back to Chill with Shana. I am Shana. I am a speech-language pathologist. I am a financial advisor and I am also a life enthusiast. That means that I am always out there seeking new adventure and experiences. And one of those was my adventure going to Taiwan to study Mandarin. And this, this was last year, pre-COVID. So yeah, I will do my best to explain to you my process of going there because I received um, quite a few messages asking me that one. Most of those who message are from Luzon so I will do my best to speak in Tagalog if not then English because um, my past videos were in Cebuano so parang maintindihan ng lahat <laughs> but anyway, pangit yung Tagalog ko so I'm so sorry. I went to Taiwan because even though merong mga language centers here in Cebu I feel like going there sa Taiwan would really expose me sa environment and then conducive to learning siya kasi ma-prepressure ako and you know I'll be forced to use what I learned in the language center. I feel like mas madali yung progress ng learning ko doon. And also I have a family there. So my family is located in south of Taiwan which is Tainan. That's why I searched um, the universities or language center language centers in that area in the south okay so that's what i'm going to show you also so if you're not sure about where to go to study or what schools offer uh, mandarin then you can go to this website ogme.edu.tw and then go to find courses dito find courses so you can put courses offered and then regions okay North, Taipei, Central, South, Tainan, Kaohsiung, and then East. Then schedule of courses, and here you can type when. So you'll just go to search. So there's quite a lot of um, language center centers there. Uh, I guess all you have to do is find the location you want, location you want, and then the university check their facilities um, check their re feedback or reviews from students and then I think tuition fee would also matter so it depends on your budget and then the schedule of classes so yeah here you can find Chinese language course, is in a course, online Mandarin course um, here there's one on one or if you want to be in a group but I would suggest be in a group because other than it is more affordable you would also meet a lot of interesting people from different um, countries which would make your learning more fun because you have friends to you know um, go out with you have friends to ask about the homework <laughs> So you can also go to find institute. So there are 62 university affiliated Mandarin learning center. So this one means that it's inside a university. So you can choose here Northern Region, here Taipei City, Taoyuan, New Taipei, and then we also have Central Region, which is Nanto, Miaoli, Taichung, um, then Hualien, Eastern Region. And then here, this is where I studied, south, southern region. So, Tainan City, Pingtung, Kaohsiung. Okay, so let's press on southern region. Okay, find the schools here. Alright, I'm gonna show you my school. So, I went to National Chengkong University. Where is it? Where is it? National Chengkong. Oh, here. So, National Chengkong University. This was my school. Let's click it. So, here you'll see all its information. Okay, established 1982. So, quite a long time long time na. My dad um, is a Taiwanese and one of the reasons also why I wanted to learn um, Mandarin. Anyway, so he suggested this school because they are um, established and they have good feedback 
it is highly recommended and one of the best schools for teaching Mandarin which is which I would agree so here National Chang'e University Chinese Language Center so you, this is their um, website this is the address Tainan City then here are the other information email telephone and then admission conditions so this one you need this one the admission letter they will put there if you are approved or you have um, you have really enrolled or applied for that university which you will need to show the embassy you just have to complete this online application and then passport photo photocopy of diploma and okay just include your transcript of records then photocopy of your passport it's important that you have money in your bank within the past three months so it has to have at least two thousand dollars or if in philippine money a hundred thousand so that's what i prepared be, um, when before i went there after finding your the institution we go to visitor visa for students so i will put all of this website in the description i was hoping they will give me a student visa so i can stay longer i don't have to renew every six months but then they will only give student visa for those who will study a bachelor's degree in the university okay but then ito ay for chinese lang they only give visitor visa which means to say that you have to renew this every six months so, yung initial plan ko talaga is to stay one year or if possible two years pero dahil sa covid and mga unforeseen events kailangan kong bumalik ng Cebu which is so anyway if meron kayong opportunity then go and finish the whole Thing, okay at least two years para mas proficient yung Chinese nyo so here is the visitor visa for studying Chinese so qualification applicant must be at least high school graduate and then the requirements completed and signed application form so I click this link it will bring you here okay so I'm so sad to say I can only speak about my application going there pre-covid but i'm not quite sure about their application currently okay so here in their website it says that um they continue to halt the processing of visa application because of the strict border control measures hopefully when covid is over this video can still help you with the uh, processing maybe they will just add like a few more requirements like i don't know possible like vaccination maybe or like medical certificate okay so next you have to go to the application of your visa just you know at least check lang so general go to general visa application click new and then fill in the information philippines uh, let's say 180 days if you wish to go back and forth the country you can select multiple and then um, here purpose of travel studying Chinese so here before you apply the visa please confirm you have obtained a certificate of admission issued by the Chinese language center affiliated to one of the universities or institutions accredited by the Ministry of education original and photocopy we have to go back to the university where you want to study and then email them ask them the requirements and ask for the admission letter you also have to put to provide two copies of 1.5 by 2 or i think that's passport size um dapat yung passport niyo are i valid for six months but also bring your old passports so that's what i did too tapos yung birth certificate nyo and then kung married then marriage certificate then 
highest diploma and transcript transcript of records so dapat original to siya guys not a photocopy and then admittance letter and then financial supporting documents yung one at least 100,000 sa bank nyo you need to get your financial statement bank statement study plan here was my study plan basically I put in there the date study plan date I am Shana introduce yourself and then put a little of your background and then you write why do I choose to study in Taiwan and in this university and then why do I choose to study Chinese your reason for studying Chinese then here's my detailed study plan so put your long-term goal and then your short-term goals and then what's your future plan and then the applicant will be scheduled for an interview if required so I think if they have other questions about your you know especially study plan your bank but I didn't get any interview next is all documents submitted to this office should be original and one photocopy I personally went to Manila the embassy there para mag submit ng documents ko so go to Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in the Philippines so I highly suggest no if you can then try to apply for a scholarship because it will save you a lot of money <laughs> and then they will actually also give you money give you allowance so late na nung nalaman ko ito kasi nagmamadali ako that time ito to fly so parang I, I wasn't able to wait na para sa whole scholarship process one semester is equivalent to around 30,000 or 32,000 ganyan 32,000 um, new Taiwan dollar so 1 Taiwan dollar ngayon is equivalent to 1.8 Philippine money which is like let's say 60,000 per sem ang pag study ko ng Chinese there which is like you know, pretty big amount so nakasave lang ako because of free accommodation I just stayed in my dad's house free food but yeah medyo quite big pa din ang 60k per session and anyway but yeah if you wanna try out go do a scholarship so this is what their scholarship was um, Hua Yu Enrichment Scholarship so this is the application form I will also put the link down there and then just click the application form so all your basic information present employment and then here where you plan to study in Taiwan and state your study plan while in Taiwan so here please attach your essay in an A4 paper then declaration there okay so try it out check lang so I think there is also a schedule for their scholarship I will show you the website of my school this one so some of them are were my classmates okay just change the language here click on this one English okay find out about it so this one what I meant about their class schedule so there's autumn session and find everything here activities classes okay course information summer session autumn session you will see the course date how long and then tuition fee then hours per week and your application deadline so yeah check this out I mean I'm sure this is also in the other university websites so if you have other specific questions just go and email your university they are very very responsive so you can just contact them okay and then ask for assistance because they will definitely help you 
um, with your requirements. So basically, yung important lang is coordinate with your university for your admission letter. So you need that delivered or faxed to you kasi kailangan ng original copy yung embassy. And then, uh, financial statement. Dapat enough yung funds nyo to live and study there. So, if you have more than 100k, then probably better. Then, your passport. Dapat longer yung time frame. More than 6 months. If gusto nyo mag-extend mag ng stay doon. And then, all the other requirements. So, good background, which is like that includes your diploma and your transcript of records and then a very detailed study plan so yeah once i got my once i got everything sorted in the university and everything sorted in the embassy i booked my ticket now so for my ticket it has to be round trip yes kailangan niyo bumili ng round trip because that's what you will show in the airport na babalik kayo at this certain time. So, when you get to the airport, important to bring all your original documents pa din. Okay? Put it in your hand carry, not in your luggage. Kasi the people there will still look at your documents for you to fly. And para straight straight lahat, no? No more questions asked. Just show it to them. So yeah, basically that's it. After you w go past the airport and sit on that plane, time for you to relax and enjoy your amazing experience in Taiwan. Hopefully, mawala na to ang COVID para mas enjoyable and mas fun yung experience niyo doon when you fly to Taiwan. So, kung meron pa kayong questions, then don't hesitate to message me on my Facebook page, Chill with Shana, and I will be there to answer and help you with what I know. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts down below. Bye! I'll see you again on the next video.